Alright guys, let's do a bit of hay making, a bit of mowing. Um, got some nice weather for the next few days, so I thought I'd knock this field down, maybe an acre, yeah? Bit of a tester field. Got three acres, or about three acres to do in there. Another two acres if I want, or another field. It's only for myself this year, I like for the horses. So I'm using some old gear, which we've had for over 25 years about this tractor. I don't know how long I've had the mower. Good bit of time, like. It's an old PZ165, it's supposed to be in red. I just brush painted with a load of orange. We had everything in orange. But um, I have got a new top for it. So I might do it up one day, top. Paint them all back red. I put new drums on it about three years ago. Off, um, it was all bits, but they had loads of mowers, so I found the best ones. I made this one up, so it works all right. And the Zeta I'm using, 5545. 1968 that is, like I said, I've had it 25 years, so it goes on now. Um, only thing is, the hydraulics are very tired on it. I've had it 25 years, I've never ever changed the, the hydraulic filter, I don't know where it is. So that's something I've got to look into. But when it warms up, it will not lift it up at all. So I just keep going round and round, and that's what I've done it for years. Alright, so track on now. It might be too low. I've just set it by eye, am eh? So I have to adjust it. Just start it off first and see how low we are. I sharpened the blades last year. We will be right for a minute. I'll sharpen them before I do the next lot. I'm happy enough with that. Like I said, I could have done with the uh, sharpening them, but I'll do. Plastic. It's not a bad prop. A bit low in the middle, but eh? But in places, it's pretty, um, pretty thick, pretty long. Better than over there. That's the same over there. That's all right. I'm happy enough with that. That's what I do. I, up on the, the long straights, I just keep going, working my way in, and on the bottom now I just keep two swaths, two passes, but yeah, as I come in, I just ride across the same one again, because I don't lift it up, so otherwise you have lots of them, if you keep working your way in, on the ends, I always do two, one or two at the ends to turn around area, yeah. once you roll it up, I think if you know what I mean.
in here now. Not much in the middle. And I'll do the back swath then. It might be with two passes on the outside. No, I'll just be one. Because this side over here is always wet with the trees. It's hard to dry by there. Sometimes I pull it out with the, the acrobat from under the trees. All this area is tidy. But that, as you can see, it's in the sharp shade over there. Crack on. I'm happy enough for that. Knocked it down. As soon as you gotta see this. Okay, can I take I spent more time setting up the camera and all that. Just got a back swath now. I'll just do one cut on the outside there. Yeah. I know I'm losing loads down there, but like I said, you're not stressed for it. So as long as we have some hay for the horses, we've got plenty. Three, like I said, three acres. We've got five acres over there. So, one stone in the back swath now. Job done. First bit done, so we'll tear that tomorrow with the David Brown, the 780, on the Lily Gemini, the orange tether, but they, like a lot of modern farmers might laugh at my stuff I got, but I'm not really doing these videos for them, I'm doing them for people who appreciate old stuff. Like I said, that's 1968, the mower 70s, I expect, everything's around the 70s, the baler's the 60s, easy. He's done what we had to for years, so that's why we carry on with it. But like hopefully people will appreciate the older stuff, still going, still doing what I gotta do. And the horses will eat on the outside anyway, so like no matter what's left, the horses will come in yeah. I'll show what's in the next field now. Pretty good crop in there. Last time's a good crop up here, it's quite thick. It's cut it pretty low. Pretty happy with that. Like I said, we always struggle with wet under you. Wet today, so you gotta always bail a lot the outside last. But I'll try to pull it over a bit. I might even put the, the Viking on. That could bad. Well, that's not bad, isn't it? It's heavy in places. So I'll leave that a bit longer and we'll do on the next uh, dry spell then. Alright then. That was me mowing. A, well, mowing grass for A with the Zeta 5545 and the PZ CM165. Old bits of kit, but as you can see, does the job. That Zeta sentimental as hell. I love it, I do. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.